rabbit. Get out now. Sir. Hmm? I will be your obedient student. Now what is it? Teacher, teach me more Kung Fu. Hmm. All right. Come. practice. It's time for me to go, okay? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I taught you your gung fu, but I didn't tell you to pick on people. You hey you! Get back inside right away. Uh, uh, Kenley, there's a gentleman waiting for you. Wants to hire your wagon. Well, he's picked the right man. <laughs> hey, you want to talk? <laughs> people have said you're the top driver in this area. And I need to bet. If that's what they say, who am I to argue? You're all right, but you better have a good wagon. Take a look yourself. It's going to be a long trip. I don't care. My horse can run as fast as the wind. How good are you with that whip? Are you an expert? I want to test you. Whatever test you like. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good. <laughs> I began driving when I was very young. 21 years now. I was born and raised in a wagon. So when I use a whip, it feels like it's part of my arm. Oh? Let's go inside. Mm. Rabbit, come on. Uh, madam, let's go inside and watch the fun. No way. You know what the chief said. We must be careful of being seen in public. We might be recognized, so let's go. Yes, madam. I'll be waiting for you outside the gates. You talk to Pao Chen Feng about the job. See this $10? If you're able to take out the $7 from the pa with that whip of yours, then that $1 will be yours to keep. I didn't realize it was you. I got excited. I don't often get the chance to earn a dollar. Uh, seemed like I had it, and then it disappeared. Mr. Wu, please excuse me. Have you finished? I should show respect for my position. I won't tolerate insults from scum like you. <laughs> Go and apologize to her. Uh, 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 Mr. Wu, he has already apologized. Why must he? Uh, uh, down on your knees and pick it up. You hear me? Get down on the ground and stop crawling, you bastard. If you die in your life, better do as he says. I've seen everything. Murder in broad daylight? There's a law against that. Who the hell are you? Don't you know this man's a crook? We'll provide the proof if we have to. We can fix it with the law. Oh? Yes, of course that's right. This area is controlled by Pao Chen Fang. I take it that your Pao's... Yeah, his right-hand man. Huh. You mean his lackey? As I see it, the coin was already his when you snatched it away. He had every right to whip you. And since you kicked him around, I reckon you're both even now. Where are you from? The 
the Blue Mountain region. Might even be a crook. But I hope you can prove it. Uh, tell me, is that Mr. Wu in here? Yeah, me. You're in luck. Come on, but... This silver dollar, do you still want it? Let's see you earn it. Bring all nine dollars down. Help you let off steam. I must move. Tomorrow morning, come and meet me at the inn. Send out some men to arrest those people who still owe us some rent. Show no mercy. These damn peasants must be taught a lesson. Uh, yes, sir. But, uh, my lord, they... Some of the men have left their families. Huh? Well, in that case, bring back the women or their daughters. Yes, what was that? What was that about the women? Huh. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Have you no shame left in you? You are. Oh, but... I thought I ordered you to distribute that money amongst the poor people. Uh, yes, but I... Chen Fang, you've been interfering. I want to help to gain some respect for you, my dear. Yes, sure. Hurry and carry out my wife's instructions. Uh, yes, sir, of course. Mr. Wu? Why is he being so secretive? Ah, well, my dear, I asked him here to discuss some important business with me. Wu Chu, uh, careful how you use my husband's name in town. You've been making trouble. Ah, uh, yes, uh, certainly. Hmm. <laughs> you plan to steal the silver in my region. And naturally, my own men will be providing the escort. There'll be no problems. What else did your chief say? Uh, he wants to know uh, what his cut will be. As usual. Just half. Oh. Mr. Powell, can't you increase it? Hmm. As soon as your men start to attack, our men will disappear. And then that $3,000 worth of silver it's as good as ours. Uh, sure, sure. It's just as you say. Make sure no mistakes. No witnesses shall kill Lou and the driver. All right. And then you'll deliver the silver here. Your master has made a fortune. Hasn't he got enough yet? Uh, difficult to say. Does anyone really have enough? <laughs> 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 oh. yeah. uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh. I want you to go to Pao's place. Get Wu and bring him here. Do something for me. Take this bracelet to Xiao Chui and tell her that I'm back. Shang Li did as you said. He refused to fight. This morning that gangster Wu beat him up. But Shang Li didn't attempt to fight. He is good. He's suffering for me. He said you must be careful until he can buy you out. I'll take... Uh, Xiao Chun! Uh, Xiao Chun! Uh, 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 u
stop it. You go now. I you must get into trouble. Huh? I called you. Now, didn't you hear me? I called you several times. Listen here. You come back here. You need a good whooping. I've warned you about this. Why do you keep coming back, you good-for-nothing little bastard? What you need is a good whooping. Oh, you're the one to give it this guy. Come here. You feel like a horny opera. Come here. I'm going to get you. You're a naughty boy. Are you? Well, oh, here, come on. Like you imagine you're a fine lady. Go and have a look in the mirror. You'll see what you really are. Hm. Nobody wants to love a whore. Just remember you work to repay me. Mama, let's calm down. You know some men like her type. You mean that soft driver? Hm. Coming into a whorehouse and talking about love. He's too poor. When can he pay me enough to let you go? He talks about it, but in fact, he just hasn't got it. Stop wasting time and go to your room, because I've got a customer for you. You better give him a good time. Come on. Hey, get a move on. And listen, you're only a whore, not a titled lady. So you do a whore's job and you do it damn well. Same service you give to that driver friend. <laughs> uh, it's all right, never mind. Come on, everybody, come back to you. <laughs> What did Powell have to say? What's the deal? You know him. The usual. He wants hair. <laughs> All right, let's get back. The chief will be waiting for us. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! $3,000 to send to the capital. Uh, will you arrange for some of your men to escort it? The capital? That's a long trip. And besides, what about Three Scars bandits? They're active in that region. It's because of them that I'd like your men to act as guards. Hmm. It's a very risky job, Mr. Lou. I might be interested if you, uh, let's say... Uh... Uh, now, don't worry. I'll pay you well and $10 for each man you can spare. It's good money for a trip of this distance. Well, that takes care of the men. And now, what about me? Uh, Fifty more? Uh. A hundred? <laughs> it's a deal. I'll send some of my best men. At first, the money. After that, you can relax. I'll take care of it all. That's for sure. With your men as an escort, three scars and his gang of thugs will not dare to rob me. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 
Mr. Wu, each of these is 50. That will cover the costs, so... And what about my bonus? Uh, yes. Push your tray. She's hard at work right now. If you want her, then you'll have to wait your turn or take another girl. I'll, I'll wait for her. Oh, you really are in love. You bag, you go too far. That's so? You bring $120, then she'll be yours for good. She will belong to you. Then you won't have to share her. You can get married. I'm working for the money. When will you get it? I'm not going to wait for you. If somebody else buys her, then she goes. You black-hearted bitch! Just yesterday, another gentleman chose her, and he said he would return with $200 to buy your girl out. You'd better hurry. What are you? <laughs> you know I love Shao Chui very much. You're pushing me too far. Uh, you listen. I pay good money for her, and I've raised her all these years. I don't care if she loves you. I only care about the money. All this nonsense about love. Madam, he spends money here like all the others. You mustn't hurt his feelings. So what? You're all the same. You always manage to fall in love with the poor ones. You're going to ruin my business. Now take a close look at him. He'll never be rich. And these days it's very difficult to get rich. Our driver will never make it. What do you want me to steal? You'd better if you want your lover for yourself. I know your type well. You'll go to hell and back just to get the money to buy out a whore. You mean the stupid driver? Mm. He's blowing kisses to his lover, no doubt. I don't know what to do with him. <laughs> Mr. Wu, which girl would you like to have tonight? Zhang Li's girl, Kao Choi. Ah, you do her great honor. It's her lucky day, all right. I'll just get rid of her lover, boy. Please come with me. Mm. That's expensive, right? Much too this way. Hey, Shang Li, hurry up and get out. Remember, this is a brothel and not your home. What are you up to? Get out of there. Hey, Shang Li, you made your money's worth. What's up? Uh, uh, I paid for it. You go to hell, because Shao Choi is needed. Unless you want to stay and watch. Do you think you're a match for him, huh? <laughs> I'll pay the keeper all night. You didn't say that when you first came here, now did you? Also, this man is anxious. You girls are working hard, not a woman of virtue. Mr. Wu's paid for her tonight to show her what he can do. Bitch! Let's go! Uh, 
Stanley. Xiao <gasps> Chui. Let's go. Get out of here. <gasps> Wait for me. I'll buy you out of here. No! Yeah, Mr. Wu! Yeah. Oh. 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 Well, Wu, you can come back to life now. You're only alive because you work for me. He nearly broke my goddamn hand. Then what use would I be? Huh. The one with him. They say he's the sparrow. Arrow. He's a cold-blooded killer. Watch his game. We haven't crossed swords with him. Why should he help a stupid driver? Never mind that. I'm Big Pow. I'm afraid of nobody. But leave Sparrow alone. And make sure the men do as well. This might be our area. But let him be. Don't provoke him. He even dared to rob the magistrate's wife. And the guards are badly carved out. Then take care. But why would a man like him travel all the way to our town? He must be after the shipment of silver. So three scars is not going to find it so easy. <laughs> you make me laugh. Your kung fu fighting skill is not all that good. And you fall in love with that whore? My lover is no whore. <laughs> She's not a whore. She's your beautiful dream. <laughs> right. There are many rich guys chasing after her. But still, she will always be faithful to me. How much to buy her up? 120. I've been working for three years, saving it all. It's been hard. Wagon's old and so's the horse. All that work and sweat for $30. And now a customer wants to pay 200 to buy her out in two months. She says she'd rather die first. Perhaps I can help. If you'll help me, I'll pay you 200 silver dollars. 200 dollars? That's what I said. Then you can buy out Xiao Choi and live the good life. For that 200, I'd do anything. Even killing? Huh? An armed robbery? Killing? Robbery? Hmm. Who are you? You get around a lot. I'm quite sure you'll recognize my name. It's the Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> you must have heard. I'm one of the ten most dangerous men. You know why? I'm here to steal a shipment of silver. Three thousand dollars. Lou is sending it. Special courier through this region. If I grab it, you'll get one-fifth. That's six hundred. Also, two more on top. Make 800. You'll never earn that by working. Besides, you're already in trouble. Wu will not let you stay around here. The money will help you get set up in another place. You bastard! There's no way you'll get hold of that 120! <sighs> Take the son of a bitch out of here! He's a damn criminal! Hmm. What do you say? Well, have you made your mind up? I'm only a driver. No killer, no robber. I'll just take 120 for driving. And that's all I want. Well, I only want you to drive. Maybe use your whip. All right. I want you to stay in my room, out of sight. With my mark on the door, Pao Chen Feng will not dare to touch you. I'll go and stable a horse for you. We leave tomorrow. It's all settled. Good. What's the plan? Pao's men will go as escort. But when we appear, they'll back off. We take the loot, but no witnesses. Wu wants the driver and lose silence forever. That part I don't like. We rob, but don't kill. Right. I think you have a point. 
Uh, but besides, uh, how much silver for Pow? A straight split. <laughs> a two-faced son of a bitch. We have to face the danger. Now listen, we stay away from town. Wu's orders. Said if we're too close, it'll look very bad for Pow. Damn son of a bitch wants cash and reputation. All right, my mother and I. Hey, it's it's man. Hey, For all your help, we better get going. Right. All right. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, if anything should go wrong, then do your best. Mr. Lou will see your reward. Yeah! Uh. 
dollars is nothing to you, you idle rich swine. Oh, please, please. Get out. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Shang Li, you know what to do. Why not let them go? No, kill them. We can't allow them to live. We've got the money. Why must we kill them? As long as they're alive, they're witnesses. You want the cash, don't you? Shangli, you know me. I have a wife and kids. They depend on me. We all never talk. You have to let me go. Oh, do anything. Bastard. Don't kill me. Oh. 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 Shangli! Shangli! Take the money and get out of here. Shang, I beg you, please save me. I'm not a killer. I won't murder them. Hmm. And I say they must die. <laughs> My friend, don't worry. <laughs> uh, 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 He's a driver, hardworking and poor. I say he lives. Think about Sao Choi. She costs money. I want to be rich, but my conscience says it's wrong. No room for conscience. Not in this kind of business. It's blood money. Shang, 
thank you for saving our lives. Don't bother me. They were supposed to leave this morning. They should have passed here ages ago. That wagon just now seemed a bit odd. I recognize it. The driver was in town. Knows how to use a whip, too. And he's a soft touch. He's fallen in love with a whore. He's a lover, not a fighter. We can't wait around here. You two, check out the road. Sir! I wonder if that bastard powers double crosses. He's got too much to lose. But if he has, he'll regret it. What are you doing here? What's been going on? My name's Lou. Are you Potch and Fang's men? Uh, uh, from up ahead. What's been happening here? It's the Sparrow. Ah, we watched him being murdered. The man who did it robbed me of my silver. His name's Shang Li. Shang is not a robber. If you keep on exploring him, I'll have you questioned. <laughs> Shang Li was with him from the start. Shang Li killed him and then stole my cash. Come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We've been double-crossed. Not by power, it's that driver, Shang Li. Sorry about that. Shang Li turned up with the sparrow. He killed him and stole the silver. What are we waiting for? Get after him. Right, sir. Yes, yes. Well, I guess I was wrong. It seems Shang Li is stupid, too. Madam, if he's that stupid, he can't escape. All right, men, move out. Go! Go! He's in the forest. Be careful. We don't want to scare him. I'm pretty certain I know how he'll react, so don't attack him first. All right, put on your arms. Sir, sir. It's for my girl, to buy her freedom. Good. Take the majority of the cash to buy her out. We'll do it for you, if you'll agree to join up with us. Not interested. I'm no bandit. Son of a bitch! Ha! <laughs> 
Did you hear me? Watch out, he killed the sparrow. So he must be tough. Don't scare me. You get the money. Yeah, I'll take care of him. You just try and I'll kill you. You was Kung Fu. God damn it. Is he something special to you? Why should you be protecting him? Hm. Don't be stupid. I'm just thinking of you. All right. I'll just watch. Oh, well, I should kill him. Get a hundred bucks. Right. Look, oh. these three saw cuts didn't scare me, oh. nor do you. Why don't we let him keep it this time? Are you mad? What about Pao? How do we explain it? If we haven't got the money, that's all there is to it. If we do let him go, Pao will still catch up with him. Have you had time to think you've got all the silver, but Pao will never let you get away? I want to give the money back to Lou. I'll be more than happy with a couple of hundred bucks. What's so funny? <laughs> You're some kind of fool. The only payment you'll get from Lou will be death. And Powell's waiting to get his 50%. That's not going to please him. <gasps> you'll only get your share over my dead body. Killing a punk like you will be a pleasure. You're full of brave talk. I bet you can't. You've got no chance. Why must you interfere? You fancy this driver, don't you? Could be. I like a strong man. He reminds me of you when you were young and first caught my eye. Tell him about your three scars and how you got them. It's a good story. Tell him what it was that changed your life. How you decided to join us. How I helped after the guards had beaten you senseless. And later, cut you up three times. 
You won't both me! Use the sword! You'll have to kill me first! That's enough. He's very tough. Let him go. Sir? Good. agree whatever they did. Get out. But life is very difficult. And so you soon changed your mind and came back. You big ox. And I love you for that stubborn streak in your character. <laughs> pa, he wants to join us now. Mm. Exchange your bows! <laughs> the pride and glory! Well, Three Scars, he's now in the same position. He'll never be free to travel around, so let's... That's have... enough! All right, you bastard, move out! When you find no place to hide, you can come back to us. Huh? Hang pretends to be a gentleman, but we know that he's the same as us. Maybe he's worse, too fond of killing. The two-faced bastard! Did you ever think I would let the silver go? I can't believe it. Here! Here! I can, because I know just what kind of a man you really are. I'm a killer and a robber, that's all. <laughs> right. I believe that you, Sparrow, and Shang Li are partners in this. Where's Shang Li hiding? Mr. Lu! You! Uh, Mr. Lu, uh, please tell him what happened. Shang Li saved our lives. You know that Sparrow won in a worse. I believe what Pa said. Some coincidence, uh, you're both drivers. Uh, it's obvious you're both in league. It's not true. What do you say? Please tell the truth. Yeah. Uh, 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 Even bust it out. Right. Come on. Like I'm beaten up, the silver stole them, I pay for the privilege. So what? You'll get it back when we get Chang Li. Be thankful you're still alive. Huh. You sound confident. You can rest easy. Don't worry. The boss knows how to get to Shang Li through his girlfriend, Xiao Chui. He loves her. Huh. Shang Li's got the silver. He's probably got a dozen whores by now. Uh, another man might. But not Shang Li. He really is in love. And Mr. Lu, you mark my words. He'll go to the brothel to buy his girl out. Now he's got cash, but our boss has already got men in place to trap him when he turns up. And once he's trapped in the brothel, the rest will be a mere for man. What do you think? We've got dozens of men waiting to swarm all over the place. <laughs> You'll be caught like a fly in a spider's web. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, you mustn't come here so often. I'll get big trouble from Madam. She really hates you. Ma, where's Xiao Chai? She's busy. What's the problem? Oh. Xiao Chai, little rabbit said Chang Li's stolen Lu's silver shipment. He wouldn't. He's an honest man. He must have done it for you. Xiao Choi, now everyone will be jealous. We girls don't get such attention. If I had such a man, love me as he loves you, I'd rather die than give him up. Xiao Choi! <laughs> hey, oh, 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 who are you? Mr. Paul, why don't you welcome your friend? Oh. 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 Mr. Fowl. What the hell are you doing over here? I gave you strict orders. Oh, yes. 
We're only common bandits. But you don't fool me, you're just like us. Shut up and give him strict orders. Stop babbling and just get on with it. I don't know how you can face me. <laughs> Why not? Just because Shang Li's got away with all the loot? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. What's the game? Thought Three Scars Gang was the best. You'd better explain. Sparrow was the mastermind. He's the one who got all the silver. Why, wow. you didn't get a cent. Really? What do you suggest I do about it? Stay out of the way. Let Sheng Li go. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> you two. You'll be trying to convert me next. Well, there's another way. Sheng Li got the silver after killing Sparrow. We've decided we don't want it. But for your share, we'll make him split it. Mm. How about it? Then everything will be settled. Also, there's plenty of other jobs. Come on, you. Let's go now. Mm. Good. It's a deal. <laughs>
car here. Sir! Get over to the brothel and tell Wu to come here. Sir! Hey, hmm? you must go to the brothel. Moss wants to see Wu. He just killed three scars and his wife in a fight. Now, get going, quick. Right. I'm on my way. Hey, we must hide. Huh? Don't be so stupid. We must find Shang Li. Come on. Mr. Wu! Mr. Wu! What is it? What's on the pass? Come quickly. Three scars have been fighting with the boss. You better hurry back. No, don't follow me. Stay here on guard. If you let Shang Li escape, then all of you will be put to death as collaborators. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. and his wife were killed helping you. What? They went to party to make sure he wouldn't bother you anymore. That they bash you kill them both. I... I never thought they'd help me. Cheng Li, you're a smart man. We've got lots of men hiding in the mountains. Come and join our group. Count me out. Better think first. You've got no choice. You can be chief. Thanks, but I can't. I got things to do. Here's the silver, and I've decided what to do. I'll just take a share, only a hundred or so. The rest is for you and your partners. More than enough for all of you. Split it up and retire. It's no life living in the mountains. Try to make a fresh start. Uh, where will you, you go? I have a job to do. Still after that whore? Don't you call her that? Uh, yes. If you go after Xiao Choi, you'll be caught. Makes no difference. Let me come with you. You can't. Now remember my words. Take your share of silver and tell the rest of your gang to come down from the mountains. <laughs> Get out. 
What's going on? With all these guards around, who will come here? God damn it! You shut up! Pour me more wine. Right. You two go and serve him a drink. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to part. Yeah! <laughs> 
Ah! <laughs> 